Hey, what is up, my dudes? Do pass up to I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be doing another shitty album review. I'd have to say I wore the right shirt for the right occasion because today we're going to be reviewing my all-time favorite death metal album ever, Baphomet's The Dead Shall Inherit album. Now, Baphomet was a death metal band from the early 90s, but later had to change their name to Banished due to another whole little mix-up concept thing of another person's band named Baphomet, and so they changed their name to Banished. This album has 10 head-bashingly spectacular tracks, my favorite being Streaks of Blood, which, <laughs> fun fact, in Dying Fetus's earlier work, they did a cover of Streaks of Blood, which you can see on their Grotesque Impalement album. The Dead Shall Inherit released May 5th of 1992 by the label Peaceville Records. And man oh man must have that been a good day. I mean, this is my all time favorite death metal record we're talking about, man. Man, every track off this is so eargasmically, mind meltingly. I'm literally a zombie. Now let's get into the more musical aspects that I appreciate in the music, and that I'm pretty sure you will too. Man, the gutturals are perfect. Tom Frost are by far the best guttural vocals I have ever heard, and that speaks a lot since I listen to a lot of death metal. So rich, so much texture, every aspect of the music itself. It has high viscosity and richness in the entire tone of the music. The guitar tone definitely sounds like the guitar tone from Mayhem's Death Crush EP, but cleaner. No, I can definitely hear influence coming from Autopsy, Napalm Death, even a little bit of Early Master in there as well. And I love how the bass is really aggressive and tends to show off and stand out more. I mean, think of Cannibal Corpse's earlier albums with their bass. The riffs are morbid, grotesque, powerful. Not just that. Everything about the album, from the groovy tempos, to the rich beast-like gutturals, to the evil-ass guitar tuned down to perfection! It's really sad how this band isn't really around anymore, but this is truly an old-school death metal classic, and if you haven't checked this out, I think that you're really missing out on some great death metal. I mean, Baphomet is painfully underrated, it kind of makes me want to cry. Like, they don't get as much attention as I feel that they deserve. This needs to be appreciated more, I feel. The cover as well, in my opinion, definitely screams old school death metal. I feel like you would really enjoy The Dead Shall Inherit if you digged Incantation's Onward to Golgotha album. I feel like if you're into not only Incantation, but Mortician, Dying Fetus, and Deicide, you would really like this as well. So I know I didn't cover all of the really great technical aspects of this album, but still, you need to check it out, otherwise you are missing out on some great death metal. As always, subscribe. I appreciate that. And this is your pal, Septic Siren, and stay metal!